What's up, guys? So, Spotify Wrap came out this this month or at the end of November. So, I kind of want to do a whole comparison with their stats and what I'm actually choosing as my top bands of 2023. So, I'm you know not gonna show the video and all that because that takes too damn long. So, here is. This, I'm going to do a little slideshow for you guys. Okay, so I did state in my review for this, which will be posted uh, you know, in the top right hand, that this is possibly going to be my number one song, and I'm not going to disagree on that statement. You will see later on in this video why I agree with that statement. But um, So these are my top artists in which, granted, I love Bill Murray. I really do. But like Bill Murray and um, Stream Beats by uh, Harris Heller, I use them for content creating itself. You know, so like when I'm streaming some of the videos in the past, I had music in the background. It's from those two art uh, musicians. So that explains those. But Plan You, Sleep Token, Asuna, that is very. Um, I felt. I feel like that is kind of true. I mean, Plan You, obviously. If you were to take the first two away, Plan You is definitely number one. Sleep Talking number two, Asuna number three. Um, and then the top songs, which again, Left Behind is number one, Summoning is number two, Queen Kona is uh, Dreams of Calpurnia. If you haven't listened to Queen Kona, please definitely do that. They are really, really good. And then, you know, Dear Sunset by Asuna and then uh, In Our Heads by To Focus. I. Again, you'll see what I'm trying to say here in a little bit. So, there's that. And then, you know, it says I'm in the 0.5% of listeners worldwide of Bill Murray, which I don't think that's true. There's a lot of people I know on my friends list that listen to Bill Murray. So, I believe that's kind of a, like, Spotify, come on now. Come on now. But then, you know, back to that. So, and now... What I'm trying to get at with the whole, you know, the list and why I feel like it's so kind of in, incorrect. So here is what they give me as my top 10 for 2023, which if you see in or my top song of 2023 and like in the top 10, you don't see Bill Murray or you see um, um, Harris Heller at all. I mean, you got left behind again. Yes, they are number one uh, by um, the plan you. Um, Sleep Token, Quick Kona, you know, all them. But you got Spirit Box on there. You got Glow Runner. You got Suna again. Polar and then Knock Loose. Which, yeah, pretty accurate. But then here is my actual top 2023. 20, um, it's a big night and day difference. And not by much. So here's mine. So, yeah, Left Behind, definitely number one. I agree with that stat right off the bat. Void, the Void should be up a little bit. Um, I kind of like how Queen Kona is still number three, though. But taking me back to Eden, I listen to that more, I feel like, than I have the summoning. And then, like, Dear Sunset went down to one of mine, but then I also have Forgotten and Jaded. Um, I have another Asuna song, a uh, Siren song. Then I have Viking from Slaughter to Prevail and Death Reflection from uh, Face Yourself. And that's why I'm like, hmm. Because, like, what I do is for these lists. So I start the list off on January 1st, and then I add songs as I go. So, you know, when I heard Left Behind, I was immediately added to the list because I loved it. Any song that I review and I love, I automatically add to the list. And... I kind of listen to it on repeat and see if my judgment is accurate. I don't know. I just feel like Spotify is not correct on a lot of things. Like, yes, the Plan You is left behind. Yeah, I listened to that song a frick ton this year. But still, mm, I don't know. But uh, let me know what you guys think down below if you think the numbers are kind of uh, fudged a little bit on Spotify wrapped or not. 
Um, also, too, let me know down your your top five and your top artists and all that down below. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, follow me on the social medias. Leave a thumbs up. You know, hit the bell notification for more videos. Um, I got a lot of I got a lot of more music reviews coming next year. Um, I'm not really filming much this month because of I'm working a lot of hours this month, so I don't have a lot of time to film. Um, so that's why a lot of these videos you are seeing are pre-recorded. Sorry about that, guys. But um, yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. Grab some of my old merch down below. You know. Rock, you know, support me, you know, and I, yeah, okay, I'll see you on the next video or something, all right, later.